So, my little helpers are helping me empty what's inside of the car, because I think I'm going to work on floor plans. Or floor pans, I should say, or something. We'll figure something out. But I want to get everything emptied out. Anyways, so they're emptying it out, and this is what they come across. So as you, as you can see, we're removing everything. And they come across a little friend underneath a seat. Which I got a feeling he's been there a while. Mummified. Poor little guy, probably couldn't get out. And, uh, could be ancient. Could be 1971. So, we're going to continue tearing this apart. Remove all the interior components. And start working on floor plans. See a little bit of daylight over there. And over there. So, we're going to take care of those problems. Aw, oh, man. Just like that. Didn't take much time at all, and it's gone. Well, I guess, move on to working on the car. All right, so I happen to have this cardboard box that if I open it all up like this, I have a little bit of gap up there that I can mark on this box, let you know how big it is. Can line this up. A little bit of gap here. We'll go ahead and mark this on there as well. And like this that so we'll mark that in the corner so we can put this on sheet metal draw it out add the extra material that we'll mark on this cardboard and we can go ahead and cut our piece out this is almost the correct way to how to do it but I'm using with what I got or I'm using what I got and making it work so we'll get this done one way or another there's multiple ways to skin a, well, you know. <laughs> All right, so we got this. Used sheet metal, donated. So what we're gonna end up doing is cutting a chunk out of this as our floor pan. And as you can see, it's got a 90 degree bend to it right here. So we have to flatten that out as well. And use it as part of our floor pan, so let's do that. All right, a few hammer blows later, and we now have a roughly straight, no more angle to it, piece of sheet metal that we are going to use as a floor pan. So, let's get this mocked up in there, maybe have to hammer it around, get the shape that we need and then start welding it in and tacking it in. Probably have to add a couple more pieces to make this work, but like I said, we're working with what we got and what we can get a hold of, so let's do this. All right, so since we don't have proper equipment, we're gonna do this and make this harder than it has to be, but floor pan is sitting down in the hole. So we're gonna clean up edges, tack, weld, 
hammer tack weld, hammer tack weld to get this all fitted up into place where we want it. Once it's all welded up, find out where that frame piece is, drill some holes, and then I'm trying to remember the term for it. Plug weld it, that's what it's called, plug weld it. So that means we're gonna drill through the flange or lip on the frame rail, but not through this. So that we have a backing and we can weld to it. Bam, upside down. So we're gonna do that. So let's get this all tacked into place. But it's gonna be easier to remove this piece where we have the frame rail, go ahead and drill these holes now where we want to plug weld so that when we start tacking this piece around the edges, we already have the holes drilled for that. We can just go underneath, weld that piece to that. So let's drill some holes first. Then we'll put that plate in. Let's do this. Uh -huh, I see you waiting. Okay, now let's do this. I just have to do this corner here and this edge but there's a if you look on that side you can see there's an actual piece that comes over so I'm gonna make that and tack that too and then check underneath and fill whatever residual or leftover hole on the bottom but so we're gonna build this and make it but yeah that's where all tacked in all the way across now to finish up so but we're gonna stop the video today and move on so uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe we're right here and uh, follow us on this awesome adventure of this 71 javelin AMX and stay tuned for the next random trade